I'm 17 and I make more than my teachers. My name's Eli. I run a streetwear business brand slash skate brand out of my bedroom basement. The name of my company is Psycho Skateboards. Um, the market, I'd say, are primarily skaters, um, people who are into the, the skate culture. And honestly, I decided that because that's just who I am and what represents me the most. So. My favorite part about this skating community has got to be the people. They're the only reason skating's around. They're the, the sole people. They're like the front face of what the community is. I love you. Brody loves you. Um, like, I know there's some terrible people in the skating community, uh, but to be honest, most of them are all the same and they're all amazing people. A valuable connection I've made through Psycho has got to be some of the board manufacturers. I first started with uh, Chapman Skateboards. They hand make their boards and screen print them out of New York. And recently I upgraded from them to PS Sticks and they make leading brand skateboards for Quasi, FA, 917, just to name a few companies. My favorite part about skating is being able to be so creative with what you do. Um, you can go anywhere in the world and skate. You can skate in your front porch, you can skate in the skate park, skate on the street, and it's just you can be so creative with anything and it, it's what sets that sport out from others. I know there's a few annoyances with running a business, but the one that I'm the most annoyed about has got to be fulfillment. I absolutely hate fulfillment when it comes around where I have to do like 400 orders in a day. I'm, I'm up until 2 a.m. doing it. Usually how I've managed the fulfillment um, now is based off the drop. So I'll know like the first day of the drop, there's gonna be tons of orders. So I'll usually schedule my biggest fulfillment days on days that I know I can spend all day fulfilling. I try and shoot for at least 50% profit margins. So doubling the money. Um, right now I'm probably running 60, 65, 70% profit margins on my products. For example, the t-shirts, they costed $14.50 to make and they sell for $28 a piece. But for the boards, um, those are $22 a piece and I sell them for $60 a piece. Well, the good thing with being so young is that my brain has got a lot of creativity in it. And it ranges from literally anything, anything that inspires me, anything that I like, I can see on the side of the road, like a broken down chair. And I'm like, oh, I like, I like that graphic. And then I can be like, okay, I'm gonna make something off of that. To just pure, like, honestly, like grip tape art. I've made this sweater based off some grip tape art I've done before and I just thought that was cool so I made that into a sweater. Marketing strategy, word of mouth to be honest, word of mouth goes a long way. Just free advertising through social media, through TikTok, Instagram, any of that. That's just the world we live in now. Everything's through social media. But when you get that and get like that kind of presence, it seems more genuine and more organic to people. What I wish I knew before running my business that I know now, who did make the clothes? I've spent countless hours and days behind a computer researching, going through trial and error of finding just the right person to make the clothing. I've had to give out hundreds of t-shirts, hundreds of pants, just because they weren't right. And I've lost so much money on that. What's next? Definitely more clothes. Definitely more designs. Um, definitely more skate videos. Definitely maybe some collabs with some people. Um, the future of Psycho Skateboards, definitely scaling. Uh, I, want, I want to branch to Europe. Uh, a lot of, I have a lot of Europe people that want to buy stuff and they can't because shipping prices are so expensive. I wish I could control it, I wish I could make it free, but I do not make the shipping prices. So like fulfillment centers in Europe would be amazing because people can get their stuff. And I'd say maybe like a brick and mortar store, that'd be kind of cool.